Hey everyone, it's Angela. Thanks for being here, guys. So I am super excited about our video today. What I am talking about today is seeking the kingdom because that is key to everything. That is the first part of conscious manifesting is seeking the kingdom, okay? And I am going to start this with a verse that is found in the book of Matthew. And that verse says to seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things will be added to you. Okay. So in that verse, there's a whole lot packed in there, but to seek first the kingdom of God. So you are God. You are one with God. You are in your highest mind. You are connected to your God self, your highest self. You can interpret that any way that you want. But the kingdom is within you. And you are God of your reality, right? You are the authoritative person, the authoritative energy, the authoritative voice in your reality. So now let's talk about also just a little component of the kingdom. All right, there's another verse that I want to share with you. And this is in Romans, and it says, For the kingdom of God is not meat and drink, but righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Spirit. So not meat and drink. That is telling us there is not an external kingdom, right? There, there is not something that we are looking for outwardly. It's not meat and drink. It's not the stuff and the things that we're doing outwardly. It is righteousness, peace, and joy and the Holy Spirit. And all of that is very important. Okay, so righteousness, if you look literally at that true meaning, righteousness is right thinking. Okay, it is right thinking. Is your thinking in alignment with who you are? Are you identifying as the God of your experience, the God of your reality? Are you identifying with the story that serves you? Are you identifying with being victorious? Are you identifying with the outcome that you prefer? Are you identifying with being prioritized? What are you identifying with internally? Because that is what you're going to be thinking on. That is your righteousness and your righteousness will go before you. In other words, your righteousness, your thought, your state, who you are identifying with, that, that is what comes before you see the manifestation, the 3D experience of what you want. Okay? So righteousness, it is internal. It is focusing on, on what you want. That is the kingdom, right? Internally focusing on what you want, who you are, who you are identifying with, and peace. Now, peace is very important. Peace could also be, um, we could say it's neutrality, right? It, it is a lack of resistance. It is a lack of the fear, the anxiety, the doubt, dread, right? Peace. Um, just a feeling of neutrality. So peace. And when you are in a righteous place, so when you are thinking right, when you are thinking in alignment with what you prefer, when you are identifying with that version of you that is unlimited, eternal, all powerful in your experience, knowing that it's all coming from you, that brings the joy. And then the last part of that is or that brings the peace. And then the last part of that is the joy, right? So the welling within in identifying with who you want to be, with the version of you that you have decided to be, feeling unlimited, no longer the victim, no longer identifying as the victim, no longer identifying as someone that is rejected, defeated, um, not getting what they want. When you're no longer identifying with that, you are walking in your righteousness and this brings you the peace and the joy. And then it says in the Holy Spirit, and that is literally the energy of that state that you're in, right? It is the higher state, the higher states of consciousness, frequency, are love, um, joy, peace. I don't know them all memorized, but they are higher levels of consciousness. We are connecting to that, our highest self, right? 
you're connecting to that higher state of consciousness consciousness as opposed to lower states where we dwell in the anger, the jealousy, the lack, the fear. We are going high, right? We are thinking above. We are thinking from a different perspective, putting our identity there. So back to the first verse, seek first the kingdom, all of that within you, right? And the righteousness, right thinking, the kingdom is righteousness, and it is joy, and it is peace. So dwelling in this state, right, that is literally talking about walking in a place of faith, walking in a place of trust, walking in a place of belief, knowing that your life that you choose is for you, and it's coming into your reality. Because again, the ending part, I'll read that again, says, in all these things will be added unto you. So guys, we we miss this piece. This is all about believing in the process. It is the law of the universe. This is the law. Life comes through you, right? That is how it is happening. And as you have control of your internal state, mental diet, control of what you are thinking, managing that, when you are doing that, all these things can come into your reality, but you have to put that first. We we often put the desire first without recognizing the power, and you will know when you're doing that because you will feel, um, you're not going to feel the higher levels of emotion. You're not going to be able to dwell in peace. You're not going to be able to dwell in confidence. You're not going to be able to maintain that faith. You're going to find yourself dropping down into lower frequencies, lower emotional levels, because you don't have the belief, the faith, the trust in the process, in the law of the universe, in the way life is coming through you. So this has to be first. That's It's telling us right here to put this first, seek this kingdom. You need to grow the kingdom within you. And you need to grow your faith, your confidence, your trust all of this and you do that by meditating upon these things by speaking to yourself by telling yourself with your conscious brain because you are god of your reality you have a conscious brain that can make a choice you're speaking to that subconscious which is programmed into so many negative things conditioned from our childhood and upbringing and the world around us so you're speaking and saying hey look i'm in charge this is the life that we are choosing. I am seeking this thinking, identifying with my highest self, identifying with my God self, identifying with the mind of Christ, what, whatever you want to call it. You begin speaking to yourself from this perspective, instilling within yourself this new way of thinking from a basis of faith trusting. And the more you do this, you're going to identify with your highest mind more and more and less with the carnality of your experience, right? You are going, you're, you're going beyond the physical body and the conditioned mind. You're going above and beyond that, right? And it's within you because it is the kingdom and you prioritize that. You spend time there. You meditate on that. Anything, you can have a mantra that works for you. I, I sit down a lot of times and in a meditation, I just say, I am. I am the I am. I am. I say it over and over and over and instill that within me. Um, you can find a verse that you like. If you are of another faith, is there if there is something that you find in your particular um, faith practice that speaks to you in regards to who you are and that power within, find something you know in your own practice that speaks to you. But you meditate on it, you focus on it, you intend as you do that that you are moving into higher frequencies, you are moving into a higher place, and the higher your frequencies are less attachment you have, less um, 
attachment in a needy way to outcomes. Not that you don't prefer outcomes, but it's not in a needy way. And that drops the resistance and makes you magnetic. It makes you very energetically magnetic. And um, you become easier or you become more able to easily manifest the things that you want. You easily create the experiences that you want because you're operating at such a high high place in your internal state, right? So the other thing I want to say about this is we often feel like um, if we're not, if we're doing this and we're putting attention on this and I have people bring this up in, in coaching, you know, they don't, they don't really want to spend time on themselves and growing the confidence in who they are in this process within them. Um, you need to do this first, but you can also, along with it, create your intentions for your specific person or your finances or your health, anything at all, but prioritize this, prioritize this practice. And then in conjunction with have your affirmations, have your focus on those new stories with your new outcomes and better experiences. So you can do it in conjunction, but don't leave this part out. This is the most important important part because it is about you and everything is about you. You are the most important part of your reality because your reality is coming from you. You are your reality. Your reality, in fact, is only a reflection of you. And you are not the physical body. You are the internal person. The kingdom is literally you, right? It's inside of the physical self. It is within. So guys, prioritize your growth, your confidence in this process, and make that the priority in your meditations and in your daily affirmations. Prioritize you prioritize right thinking in regards to who you are and in regards to who you are in the relationship with your desire, right? Your desire wants you, it's for you, it's always been intended for you. And this helps you relax. This helps you feel confident and just drop the, that resistance and let the desire come in easily and effortlessly. And it wants to come in easily and effortlessly. That's why it's in your mind and that's why you're thinking about it. So guys, this was just really in me to share this and I hope that it has encouraged you greatly. I want to tell you also that if you want to work with me, if you'd like to go further into this sort of discussion, have me help you with your manifestation intentions, whatever, look down below in the links and sign up for some coaching. I love helping people in this journey. It is so exciting for me. And also I have a course called Awaken to I Am, and this is all about what I'm talking about. It, it is seeking the I am, the kingdom within you. This is all synonymous, the I am, the kingdom. It is all internal. And this course um, talks a little bit just about our brain function, what's happening when we are intentionally manifesting. It also has at the end of it affirmations that are focused on you and being the I am, recognizing that. So check that out and sign up for some coaching Coaching if you would like to go deeper in everything that I've been talking about. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next week. Bye.